So I wanted to circle back on how you can easily create a shift tilt effect in Affinity Photo. I found after I created my first tutorial that there's actually uh, a tool specifically designed for doing this. So we're going to go ahead and start by uh, going up to our layer menu, adding a new layer, uh, live filter layer, and then we're going to use the depth of field filter. That's going to apply this uh, depth of field filter on top of your image and you can see here where it says mode I'm going to change that from elliptical to tilt shift and you'll see that the um, the view changes to show you some lines that represent where the blurring takes fake uh, takes effect and where the center of that entire uh, blurring will be so let's go ahead and get that centered again and I'm going to adjust whoops I'm going to adjust these using the uh, blue nodules on these lines that are now over my image and there's not much to see just yet but uh, again adjusting the settings here specifically radius we can shift that up and you'll see the blur begin to uh, impact your image so just kind of simulating where we think that horizontal blur would be you can tilt it by grabbing the outermost nodules and shifting left or right you can pull that out to make the uh, the transition from less blurry to more blurry uh, a little longer or a little narrower. I'm going to pull that up, pull that one down. So again, we've got outermost nodules that are the overall blur, inner nodules which are from the uh, the uh, sharpest portion of the image, and a uh, kind of transitioning into more blurry. Uh, looking at the settings here in the panel, again we've got the amount of blur which is represented by radius. Uh, vibrance adjusts how kind of punchy the colors are, so we can shift that up. You don't want to go too too wild with those, but I'm going to go ahead and shift that to about 50 percent. And then our clarity is going to sharpen the image slightly. Again that's all impacted by these uh, lines. have a little bit more of a transition for the bottom one compared to the upper let's get rid of that and there you go you can kind of see that's a very good tilt shift effect if you wanted to go back and edit that again uh, double click on the layer itself that's the white chip here on your uh, layers or if you expand it you can double click on the depth of field chip I'm going to close that out uh, we will go ahead and do it to another image so I've got another one open here again I'm going to go up to layer new live filter layer and depth of field I don't actually want an elliptical um, effect I want it to be tilt shift Go ahead and narrow that up and center it. And let's bring up the radius and the vibrance. And the clarity. Now for this image in particular, uh, I want a little more punch than what that's giving me. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So again, for that I'm going to go ahead and add another layer, specifically a uh, hue saturation luminosity layer. Where is that at? Here we go. New adjustment layer, HSL adjustment, and I'm going to tweak up the saturation. Actually, let's pull that over here. And I'm going to shift this uh, hue down just a smidge. And let's back out a little bit. And I want to go ahead and move that just a little bit, the uh, depth, the um, depth of field layer. I'm going to double click, and I'm going to bring that down just below the boats. 
I'm going to give this just a bit more of a transition. And there you go. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.